Kate, on this bitterly cold day, struggling to survive, a dog falls through the ice and the daring rescue is captured on our camera. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan joins us from Collingswood with the video exclusive to CBS3. Cleve? Well, this was a uh, rescue that the fire department says they approached with an animal the same as they would a person. They were fighting through the ice to carve a path. You can sort of see that line that goes out to where there's a little bit of a circle down there 100 feet out into the river. The rescuers had to really beat and punch their way through the ice. This was the scene around 1.30 this afternoon. They got a phone call about a dog that had wandered out onto the ice in the Cooper River and then fell through into the frigid water. The two rescue swimmers made their way out there with axes and again just beating their fists against the ice, moving chunks away to make their way out to the dog, which they successfully did and then were pulled in with a rescue line um, until they were brought to the bank. And even there it was dangerous because it was so slippery and so steep they had to be helped up the bank. And then the dog immediately wrapped in blankets and cloths because as we're standing out here and those wind chills around zero, the ice was just mounting on the fur of this dog. And then they quickly got it into a police SUV and rushed off to a local animal hospital. We caught up with the couple that actually spotted the dog and helped uh, bring about this rescue. We just were driving by and he was um, sitting right out here on the ledge, tried calling him in and next thing you know he just jumps in and our first instinct was 911, we can't let that dog freeze, so here we are. What but was it like watching that rescue? It was incredible. pretty tough, they're, we're covering through some tears right now. <laughs> but emotional, yeah. I, I felt it. Yeah, they're, they're amazing, they're absolute heroes, that was incredible, all that Everything for a dog and that was incredible. Fortunately, no firefighters were injured during the rescue. We've come to find out that the dog is doing okay, being treated for hypothermia, but recovering and has been reunited with its owner. We're live in Collins with Cleve Bryant, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. That is such great news. Cleve, thank you.